<clears throat> Hello and namaste everybody. It's Chris with Thoroughly Paranormal. I wanted to make this video in memory of a good friend of mine, Jose Ramirez. Uh, I worked with him at two different nursing homes, Crossroads and Hearthstone. He passed away not too long ago and his soulmate, Donald Hall, a good friend of mine, I wanted to uh, do something for him. And, and so I decided to make this video and um, help pass any messages that Jose would want to tell him. Um, he's going through a pretty, uh, pretty bad time right now and I can relate with the grieving process. I've lost uh, a mom, a sister, a close aunt, all within like a span of a, a year or two and I just, it just sucks. So my heart goes out to you, Donald. I love you and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I did making it. I had so much fun. This video is powerful, it's personal. Um, halfway through the video, I witnessed the most brightest, profound orb I've ever seen, at least in my experience, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. It's, uh, it, it blew my mind. It's still blowing. <clears throat> but, um, I don't know, and also a lot of other weird things came through, like, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe like a demon? came through, my mom came through, Jose came through, um, nothing crazy like turning the lights off that one time, uh, that video I made after, uh, that live session, that was just, that was just so weird and creepy to the, to the tenth degree, and I'm just so glad that didn't happen again, but the feeling that I got from here was so loving, and, um, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know in my intro it always says, I'm not going to redo it because it takes forever to make those um, um, PSB7 um, advice and tips. So for this video, my tips are when you're speaking to the spirits or trying to communicate, don't speak into the, to the actual like device itself. It, you're muffling yourself. Um, they can hear you. They're all around you. And it might make, might make it harder for them to hear you. I'm not sure could just be a pet peeve of mine, but that's that's just one thing. Uh, number two, I, and I can't stress this one enough, is do not have your PSB7 near any power source. None whatsoever, because it, it interrupts with the, with the frequency and the transmission and the dialogue that's going to come out of it. And the more, the better. The more dialogue, the better. So keep it away from any battery or power source, because... Excuse me, now I'm burping. I don't, I don't know, I was burping in my last video too. But um, my last bit of advice is use that PSB7 or just carry it with you. And I can't explain it. I literally can't explain this, but I use my PSB7 as just like a regular radio. And we have a station around here, B96. And I'll just listen to like, you know, today's music and stuff and carry it with you. I feel, this is my rationale. I, I think the more you use it, the more energy and vibes that you're putting into it. So when you do use it, you're projecting that. And that's the kind of energies you do want to come forward. And I've noticed that I'm getting responses way quicker and much more clear. And it, it becomes something personal to you. It's just, um, I can't explain it. It's just have it with you. Have it be on your persons or like in, in a backpack or just just carry it with you. Toss it in your car. And because uh, then it's just not just some device. It's it's an extension of you and they're talking to you through it. So start doing that and let me know if that helps. I, I feel like that's some of, I don't know. I feel like I get the responses I do because because of that. So, so yeah, again, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video. I would love to hear and read your comments, so please feel free. And uh, yes, I'm still going to wear this hat. My hair is like getting long. I'm just not in the mood to comb it. Not at all. <laughs> like if I didn't wear the hat, you would probably think, oh my god, that guy should probably wear a hat, right? Because so yeah, <laughs> anyways, I hope you enjoy the video, and again, namaste everybody, love and light.
want to do. It's like one in the morning right now, so I look like a mess, but um, I just feel, um, I feel like I'm going to get some good responses, so. And I want to reach out to Jose Ramirez, uh, Donald, your, your soulmate, your boyfriend, he misses you so much. And I've been reading on Facebook and he's just been uh, sharing with everybody how much he misses you and his heart really hurts and for, for his loss. And my heart goes out to him. I'd like uh, Jose to come through, Jose Ramirez. Um, and I'll show you a picture of him. Um, could you please come through? Possibly provide some kind words for him to help him get through this. Sometimes in the camera I can see you as a streak of white light. You can show yourself anywhere behind me, just in front of this light, so I can see you. Jose, are you here? Here. down near the candle on top of the batteries. If you're here, could you... Say here, could you... Say here, could you... Say here, could you... My left arm's tingling right now, it's weird. Could you please get Jose Ramirez for me? He recently passed. Could somebody tell me how many spirits are with me right now into uh, this device in my hand so I can hear you? Oh, mm, that's weird. Oh, mm, that's weird. Are there uh, any spirits who Come forward here and help me out. Could you get Jose Ramirez? Jose, if you're there, could you say your name, Jose, for me?
Jose, Donald misses you so much. <laughs> Jose, are you here with me right now? Are you here right now? Jose, I have some water, metal, some batteries that you can use for energy, a candle. So you can come through clear, I'll be able to hear you. Just manipulate this radio to say words. Are there any spirits here with me right now? Does the moon help? 
a full moon? What do you want me to tell Don, Jose? He loves you and he misses you. How you are doing tonight on this full moon? How are you doing tonight? Uh -huh. Jose, if you're there, can you please tell me your who's what, who is your boyfriend? What was his name? Oh, I just heard Donald. Damn it. <laughs> Jose, I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. What, is, what, could you say that again? What is your boyfriend's name? One, one more time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don. I heard you. Jose, one last confirmation question. Name one of the facilities me and you worked at. I'm sorry, what was that? Could you say that one more time? I know it's difficult to come through and through the radio here. It's weird how it just stops. What was one of the facilities we worked at? Do I know? Yeah. I love you guys and thank you for communicating with me because this is awesome. Could you show yourself behind me? The spirits that are here with me in the room, do you know my name? Chris, do you know my last name too? You know that I can hear you. You know that I can hear you. You know that I can hear you. Um, okay, so the light on my camera just turned off. It's still recording. It didn't say anything. Who, who said hi? Do you want me to blow out the candles? Have you guys met your angel? Have you seen your angels yet? Did you see him in heaven with all the other spirits? Who is the Messiah? my mom here or my sister? I'm wondering if they could come through. Mom or Liz? Are you here? I heard mom. Mom, what's your name? Your first name. Wow. Get back or go back? All right, spirits. Uh, I'm gonna end this uh, spirit session. Did the batteries help? 
come through again. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for saying that. I heard that nice and clearly. Ah, and I heard a kissy sound. I heard a kissy sound. Hi, I just heard hi, Chris. I hope the batteries helped and the water. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'm tired. Good night, guys. I love you. And Jose, if you're there, and I'm not sure if you are, but the spirits are here, could you tell Jose that Donald misses him so much and uh, he thinks about you every day? He would do anything to just be with you again. <laughs> Liz, Mom, spirits are here. Good night. I love you. Are there any spirits here still who would like to show themselves on camera? Yes, there is a poster. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's my uh, Thoroughly Paranormal Company logo. And on it, I wrote "Be Positive," because um, you just always want positive things to come into your life. So sometimes I have to remind that to myself every day when I wake up, because I'm sometimes not in the best mood or late, but. It's a good, but it's a good reminder to always stay positive. And there was a bright orb. Hope you guys saw that one. I'm always trying to stay positive. Always trying to stay happy. Um, this is the best thing and healthiest thing you could really do for yourself. Not only mentally, but there's so, so many other. Um, benefits from mental. Whoa! Thank you. I saw you. Um, benefits from mental. Why are you in my bedroom? And who are you? It's weird how I can only see you on the on my camera. Do you see my uh, my laundry basket over there? Could you just stand there instead of um, kind of moving around so I could see you longer than a longer than a second? What? You guys saw that, right? Could you uh, give me a high five so I could feel, see if I can feel you?